All right. It has been three weeks since my last upload, and I have a ton of excuses, boys. I'll save you the trouble of my 35 excuses. Uh, and let's just boil it down to I had the flu, all right? There you go. A lot has transpired in my absence, and I'm getting into that today. But I'm not too happy of a camper, especially just having gotten over being sick. I sound like I throated a fire hydrant, so that's a thing. I throated a firefighter. I got this dog too. Her name's Coda. She's pretty. She's pretty swell. She poops in the house sometimes. That's that's always fun. Anyways, I'm not one to honey dick around. I got vac banned since the last time that I've uploaded, and uh, I, I'm not too happy about it. You can see it on my profile right here. One one vac ban. Nine days since last vac ban. I was totally supposed to make this video two days after that vac ban happened. A lot of people have been messaging me asking me what game it was on and people have been speculating, but honestly, it's not any of the games that you would have suspected. If I look at my ban history, I'm literally vac banned from Dying Light. I got a vac ban within my first three hours of gameplay and that's, that's something special. How many people can say that they've done that? You know, that's... I'm sad. I'm, I'm honestly pretty upset about it. <laughs> I suppose since I'm already vac banned, it doesn't hurt to show you what I did. The most annoying part for me, even more annoying than, you know, having it say that I have a vac ban on my profile, is just that I had this game for three hours and now I can never play it again. What a waste of $30. <laughs> so as fun as it is to hit zombies with pipe wrenches and watch their heads pop like grapes, my first experience with this game was actually in a server with my friends. And, you know, they were about 50% through the campaign when I had just downloaded the game. So they were a lot farther than I was. Because of this, I wanted to give myself the upper hand, and I decided that it would be a good idea to open up Cheat Engine, which is like the worst program to use for anything, and uh, enable the speed hack thing in it. And that's, li that's literally all I did. I was in a lobby with my friends, I gave myself five times speed, and as you can see, all it really does is makes makes the trees spaz out. That's about it. These, these low polygon ass leaves, man, just makes them blow in the wind. I don't care who you are, this is not, this is not how trees move. This ain't it. <laughs> Anyways, the worst part is about this whole vac ban situation is look how impractical it is, right? If you're trying to run through a horde of zombies and you get hit, you, you don't have time to spam the F key. You just, you just fucking die. So I wasn't doing anything super malicious or super harmful, nothing that affected anyone's gaming experience but my own and I was playing with my friends. Honestly, I turned it off after less than five minutes of using it too because of how impractical it is. The next morning I woke up and I had a vac ban. It, it's not right. It's unacceptable. I'm not standing for it. We're, we're gonna do something about it out here, okay? I'm not I'm not the kind of guy to just take something like this laying down. I, just, I can't do it, I won't. So in retaliation, I thought that it would be a really intelligent, constructive, productive, great idea to hack in some more games, so. <laughs> I was originally gonna record a video of me just hacking in a bunch of different games, but then I got onto Planet Coaster and I found that Planet Coaster is the most fun game I've ever played when you just totally cheat. From all the YouTube ad revenue that I lost not being able to make the video I had planned on Dying Light, I'm gonna make up for that by creating the world's most successful amusement park. And there's not a damn thing Valve is gonna do to stop me. This is a game I haven't really played that much, so I'm not 100% sure how it works. But I do know that the best place to make an amusement park, and probably the place where it's going to be the most successful, is actually the Arctic biome. <laughs> I'm going to make the park name uh, Not Cheating, LMAO. They'll never... <laughs> He'll never guess. I don't even know what the difficulty difference means, but we're just gonna go with it. It doesn't even matter. I'm not gonna be explaining too much what I'm doing in Cheat Engine, uh, but the first thing that I did wanna do is modify the cash that I have. We start out with a whopping $2,000. The pro hacker inside me knows very little about actual hacking, so I'm just gonna be changing number values for the most part and probably speeding some things up. I have to find like the line of code that represents my amount of money and I have to modify that. So scanning for $2,000 is kind of impractical because there's literally 5,000 results. The best way to combat this is to just spend some money. I'm gonna start out with some paths. Obviously we're in the snow, so we need to find a path that's gonna be resilient against snow. And uh, there's nothing more resilient to the elements than, than wood. So <laughs> we're just gonna start spending some money here. Now when I buy one path, my money goes down to $1,991. So basically to save you guys the trouble of me talking about my feelings, what I'm doing is I'm scanning for whatever my money is every time I buy a path. 
So as my money goes down through the process of elimination, I'm finding the single line of code that's representative of my balance in game. I can modify that code afterwards and give myself infinite money, but it's important that I'm not modifying anything else as it could cause the game to crash. It's honestly really stupid and boring and why are you here? First thing I did in my beautiful park was create a nice straight path so that I could modify my money. So now I can give myself one billion dollars and I can actually lock that number so we now have infinite money money. From this point, it's time to add some rides. And the game crashed. This is about to be the hardest video I ever had to make just because the game keeps crashing, dude. That took me forever and a really long straight path, but I did actually manage to give myself another billion dollars. So now it's time to put some rides in. I'm gonna start with two of the same rides right next to each other because everybody wants to ride this ride. It's a very hype ride. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot going on, so... It's just nice to have a choice. So because this park is gonna gross me $18 billion a day, I needed to make it as complex as possible. So we have some really ornately designed lines here. It's a very good allocation of space, time, and money, uh, just for, you know, the two Venetian carousels that we have. Uh, I also need to set an entry price for my park, and because it's gonna be the greatest amusement park ever made, uh, it needs to have a premium price. So we're gonna charge $800 per adult and uh, $600 per child. Uh, looks like the max is 200. <laughs> see here what do, how do i want this to work i don't i don't want children in my park this is a park just for adults so let's let's make it uh 20 dollars for an adult to enter and uh, a child is 200 as you can see families with children will now walk up and be turned away uh while random single gentlemen can just walk right through the gates down the really really nice short path that i've made for him and uh then they can ride my two venetian carousels this is the best amusement park ever made. So people are pouring in to ride my rides. As you can see, this line is gonna fill up with people super, super quickly. I'm really glad that I made it have 10,000 steps because you, you, you really gotta want it, you know? So the next thing I wanna do is add some shops and facilities because I 100% believe that the only way to have a proper good amusement park is to have proper good amusing activities. So I'm gonna grab some bathrooms and I'm gonna put them in, but I'm gonna make people have to hike a little bit to get to the bathroom. So let me grab my Bozo the Clown bathroom here. We'll put two of them in and we'll just make them nice and out of the way here so that way people can enjoy the rides and not have to smell the gross smell of the Bozo the Clown bathrooms. That's gonna let me put a lot of stuff on this path as well. <laughs> stuff like this really big rock, for example. I'm feeling creative, let's make a whole rock formation. And there we have it. Any good amusement park is gonna try and sell you products wherever they can. So I'm gonna add some food stalls here, as well as some drink stalls. <laughs> This is the stupidest thing ever. So the lines in this park are designed to be the most space-friendly lines ever created. As you can see, the uh, the patrons have to walk up some pretty hefty flights of stairs to get to the ride, but it is worth it because it saves all of that ground space for me to be able to put in more rides, which is going to maximize profits. It also seems that my staff has just quit, so that's... uh. That's not good. So I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have staff buildings because I guess they have to take breaks. Um, nah, that's kind of stupid. Where do I go to see how many staff members I have hired? As you can see, I have one member of my staff and I have 79 staff buildings. So I'm gonna, first of all, give this person a pay raise. Let's pay them $500 a day uh, for, for, for working at the Chief Beef. I just spit everywhere. It, it's hard work to sell hamburgers to customers. How much money has this store made? Negative $400. Raking it in, baby! I do need to hire some more staff though, like actually, so let's do that. Two of my rides are broken down, so I think I'm gonna start by hiring uh, some mechanics. Just throw a few of them in here so that they can fix them. I'm thinking two mechanics per ride that I have, so that's like, how many rides do I have? One, two, three, four, that's like 20 mechanics. Also should hire some janitors because I didn't put any trash bins in. Uh, I, I believe that people should just take their trash home with them. You know, leave that shit at the door. You're gonna bring your garbage into my park and then you're gonna leave your garbage in my park, but I don't even want your garbage in my park. So leave your garbage at the door, okay? Keep your garbage and your stupid Toyota Prius. For the people who don't listen to that, I, I am hiring some janitors as you can see, but I don't want your garbage. Get that shit out of here, man. Obviously we need proper security staff. <laughs> 
Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so my man is required to wear this boppin' security vest, right? This beautiful Ralph Lauren security polo jacket made spe- oh, I said jacket? This beautiful Ralph Lauren polo shirt made specifically for my park, not cheating LMAO. It has his name embroidered into it naturally, uh, and that was done by Ralph Lauren himself. That's standard with every uniform, as well as cargo jean shorts and some swimming shoes. This is how we do things in my park, okay? This man is fly. He is, oh my God, he's fly. My man's rocking the Casio digital wristwatch, the Ralph Lauren polo, and the cargo shorts. That is, that is the fit of the century. Not only is that insanely comfortable looking, it's, it, it, it's super practical for this nice wintry environment that we're in. Way to go. Honestly, who is this guy? Employment, what, $75 a month? I don't think so, $800 a month, baby. Have that raise. So I'm gonna add a few more janitors because I think it's really important to have my park as clean as I possibly can. And I think that the rating of my park will actually reflect that. As you can see, now 90% of the patrons in my park are actually handling brooms. We have like 300 janitors hired, bro. Wait, multiple staff have quit. Why, are, why is everybody quitting? My security guard is quitting after I complimented him, dude. I'm not, we're not standing for this. I'm gonna grab all of my ungrateful staff that's quitting on me and I'm gonna move them into this isolated block because they don't deserve food or love and uh, I am not giving them the satisfaction of quitting my amusement park. This is supposed to be a group effort and uh, they are taking it for granted. Was that a penguin? Look at this beautiful bird mid-flight, brother. Look at it, it's it's neck is broken. What, what kind of game design is this? It's a game for kids, man. This bird's neck is broken. I need a janitor to clean that up. As you can see, this is gonna be the pile where I put all of the staff that's trying to leave. Uh, we'll see how far they get. Oh, there's another one. Okay, my girlfriend just texted me and asked me what the Wi-Fi password was for her crock pot. Apparently we have a, we have a crock pot that uses Wi-Fi. That's cool. Slowly but surely, my park is growing, uh, but my rating is not that good. My guest happiness is at around 11%, so I wanna actually change this, and I wanna give myself the best rated park in the world. As you can see by all my happy employees, uh, there's a ton of stuff going on in my park, and I want everybody to appreciate it, not just all of the wonderful people that I have hired. Why are all my rides breaking down? I have 35 mechanics. This is all really stupid. Let's also add a bunch of these weird cows that hop around on balls because they can entertain my guests. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. This park has one roller coaster. All of the rest of the stuff that's just hanging up here, these are just lines. This is how you get to little kid ride. Like, oh, your shitty nine-year-old wants to ride the scissor? Oh, you just gotta climb 600 feet worth of pillars, up and down, straight stairs, and then your shitty little nine-year-old. Look at this, hold on. This is a nice grandmother and mother with their shitty little nine-year-old, and they just, they, they just climbed all the way up the pillars and now they got to go all the way back down just to get to the stupid ride so their ungrateful kid can spin in a circle for a second get out of here i just got a notification that uh marquise valapera is thinking about quitting um i need more work to do my pay isn't great well i can't give you more work but i can give you two thousand dollars a month to work for me hell yeah brother i think it's time to bring my park to the next level as you can see my park rating is around 800 uh, let, let's just bump this up a notch. I'm gonna take my park rating and uh, I'm gonna make it a thousand and then I'm gonna lock that number. So my park rating is just always gonna be at a thousand. Okay, so I spent the last 15 minutes or so creating myself the best roller coaster in the world. Uh, if we look, it's the tallest thing in the park by far. So I'm hoping that people will actually enjoy it. If this doesn't get my back band reversed, I don't know what will because this roller coaster is just, it's, incre it's incredible. Look at that, you just start off off, you go you just you're upside down you know the whole roller coaster is just upside down i'm not i'm not sure what's oh okay apparently i don't have enough power to uh to finish the ride so uh he i don't know what's going on i <laughs> what happens is the people on the ride are in a perpetual loop uh just going up and uh down this corkscrew so that's that's probably probably pretty good not not very nauseating at all or anything you know it, it's good roller coasters are really hard to build i found out 
Round 75 of trying to get this roller coaster to work. This is this is starting to get annoying. I just want one ride that's gonna trump all others in my park. All right, here we go. This is this is the one. This is the ride that's gonna change history. This is the one that's gonna make me internet famous. This is the one that's gonna get me unvac banned. This is the one. I need this to work, dude. I spent like a hundred million dollars on this roller coaster. Here we go. All right, let's see. Come on, work properly. It's got a chain lift here that brings you up. And this is where I've been running into issues. No more issues this time. Oh my, that is terrifying. I'm totally losing speed. I am totally losing speed. Uh, man. Dude, I, I, I've been trying to make jokes on this stupid roller coaster creation thing for like 25 minutes, but this, this is, it's boring. There's no jokes to be made here. It's really, really hard to make roller coasters that work in this game. I'm going for something big. I'm going for like the biggest roller coaster ever created and it just ain't happening. Look at this thing. It, it dwarfs my entire part and I just can't get the speed rate. I can't get it to work. I'm trying to get it to go to the very, very top and then you ride back down. But this circle thing, I just, I just can't get it to work. It looks like I got it this time though, so I'm, I'm hopeful that this is gonna be the coaster that changes the game. Oh my god, it, it actually works. It actually works. My roller coaster actually works. My life is changing forever, dude. I'm gonna call it Boob Coaster uh, for testing purposes. We're gonna open it up and uh, wow, it has a, a one and a half star rating. I did a really shit job creating it, but there it is. My ride is too scary and guess won't ride it. Are you kidding me? So it's about to go down now and uh, I... <laughs> I want to see if this is enough g-force to actually kill somebody because that's what I was going for. Oh my god They hit 30 G's 30. G okay. How many there are isolated incidences of humans surviving abnormally high g-forces most notably the Air Force Officer John Stapp who demonstrated a human can within 46.2 G's the experiment only went on a few seconds, but for an instant, his body had weighed over 7,700 pounds. That means that this ride would literally crush your kid's bones to dust, dude. Sign me up. I'm looking at my price graph right now. My lowest cash flow in a month was negative $90,000. I deficit spent 90 grand in a month to build this park. But honestly, it, it, it's not even that bad looking of a park. Like there's a lot of shit in this, uh, in this park. Since I, uh, since I modified the game files, I'm now negative 41,949,000. Um, okay, so I, I goofed a little. Let's see if I can fix it. What if I just make it zero? Can I just make it zero? Nope, I, I can't. Um. Let me get a bank loan. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah, I, I think I might be a little bit screwed here. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to do here. I, I think I goofed it. I, I don't think there's anything I can do. I was gonna make the joke of, you know, who says cheaters never win, but it seems like I've lost. I actually don't think I'm gonna be able to bounce back from this. I am negative $42 billion. This seems to be it for my roller coaster journey, guys. I tried. I thought that by creating a game in which I cheated, and making a bunch of people stand on stairs that I would feel better about my vac ban. But the bottom line is I don't, and uh, you probably shouldn't cheat in the first place. At the end of the day, you know, you may have fun for about an hour and 44 minutes and seven seconds, but the bottom line is I still lost, and now I owe Valve $42 billion. Guys, I'll have a link to my GoFundMe in the description. These are sad times, but if everybody who watches this video makes a small donation of $1 billion, I can be out of this hole with only 42 views. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I didn't upload for three weeks, and I came back with a glorified shit post. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't unsubscribe from my channel. Thank you. I've been your host, Diddle. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me today. I hope this video isn't two minutes long. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Uh, yeah, so the, uh, the outro song that I've been using for, like, a year straight just suddenly got copyright claimed. I hope this doesn't happen with all my videos, holy shit. Anyways, so here's me talking instead of, uh, the outro song until I can find a new one. This is just gonna stop when the outro ends, so don't be surprised if I get cut off.